I'm here with Emily, who is the junior fair board for Seneca County coordinator. And she's going to explain about what you're seeing throughout the video here, um, the Seneca County Family Fair Lights. Emily, what all inspired to put this all together? Um, well, we have a beautiful th grounds here uh, with a lot of space and a lot of opportunity. Um, we have over 62 displays, and we have people that are calling us wanting to display next year. But this all came about as kind of a fundraiser for our new small animal barn that we're building. Um, we're just, um, I'm a firm believer in the kids um, paying it forward. So our junior fair board kind of put this together and you'll see a lot of the members throughout the nights here working. And then um, we offered it up to the community, uh, businesses, 4-H clubs, um, you name it. Um, it did not cost them any fee to put it in. They just had to do their display and furnish a 100-foot extension cord. Um, and then they had to set it up, and then it needs to be torn down by January 5th. Um, we just uh, really appreciate our community here, uh, our fair family, and that's why it's called Family Fair Lights. Um, this is truly a family effort uh, between Senior Fair Board, Junior Fair Board, the Seneca County Junior Fair Foundation. Um, lots of people have worked very hard to put this together. And so we only look for it to get bigger and better. And we're just happy to show off the displays that have been put in in our beautiful fairgrounds. And it's pretty impressive. As you see throughout the video, it's pretty impressive, all the work that you've started and just you know being the first year just being able to see this all come together and this is your first time yes. so we have to reassure that next yeah. year is always bigger and better and every year will continue to improve and i honestly believe that will happen um the first 40 minutes we had 40 cars so we had a car a minute come through the gate i'm very very happy about that Awesome. And for folks that are wanting to come out here and enjoy this, um, is there any fees? And what are the hours? Um, we are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until um, November, excuse me, December 18th, starting tonight, November 18th. And then we are also open December 22nd and 23rd due to Christmas and Christmas Eve being on a weekend. Um, it just is a $5 donation at the gate. If you'd like to give a little more, and just say, no, I don't need any change back. We would, we appreciate that as well. All the proceeds are going towards the new barn. Awesome. And the new barn is a major project you guys have coming up here in 2023. Yes. Um, the two barns that are actually sitting next to this building um, will be demolished the week after the 2023 fair. And then we are anticipating having our rabbits, chickens, and goats in the new barn for our 2024 fair. Come out and enjoy, bring your family, and have a blessed holiday season.